first thing you see when you turn on the Mac is the desktop. So if it's neatly organized, it gives a good first impression. But it also has one more technical reason. Because desktop is the first thing which needs to load on the start. So if you have a lot of files hanging on there, it will also compromise the startup speed. Let's try to organize it, customize it and minimize the number of icons which have to be on the desktop. Let's start off with these icons here on the right. You may or may not see them, because by default they are turned off. But maybe you remember from Windows that my computer icon was always on desktop. And this is pretty much the same. So you can decide for yourself if you want to show it or not. The place you can set it is in the Finder Preferences. So click on Desktop to select Finder, open the menu on top and select Finder Preferences. Here switch to General tab and you will see Show these items on your desktop. The items checked here will be shown. So if I don't want hard disk to appear, simply I will untick it. You can do the same with external disks, but I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you have the external disk connected all the time. Because it's quite handy if it appears when you need it. But anyway, if you decide to uncheck all of it, you can easily access external drives from the Finder sidebar. Or by using the Go menu and clicking on Computer. Here you can see your Mac drive and all connected disks or servers. Another thing people keep on commenting all the time is snapping to grid. Again, on Windows it's always automatically keeping things in separate squares. So you can't do something like this and make icons overlap. I personally like it because it gives me a lot more space and freedom to put the icons anywhere I want. But if you prefer to keep it nicely organized, you can use snap to grid function. Just go to view and then look under sort by and there is an option snap to grid. As you can see, nothing changes right away. I first have to move one of these to snap into a grid position. So as I move things around, they will snap into this nice grid here. To adjust it a bit more, you can go to view menu again and select show view options. And this is where you set the grid size, so I can lower the spacing between icons. Well, I said before that I don't use snap to grid function. Because it doesn't really clean up anything until you move each icon separately. I rather use clean up function. Because one simple command will snap all icons in the closest square in the grid. Just go to view and select clean up. I use this command so often that I even created a custom shortcut for it. I have a different tutorial for it on the channel. It will pop up now on the top right corner, so you can check it after, if you need to create your own custom shortcut. Now let me quickly explain you differences between clean up, clean up by and sort by. You can find all these three commands in the view menu. So clean up will only snap to grid in the nearest location. It doesn't reorganize anything. But clean up by is a different thing. It has few options here. If you choose for example by name, it will rearrange everything, starting at the top right and going down in the columns and moving over to the left. Again, it's the opposite than Windows, which is sorting from the top left corner. Now all the files are sorted by names. If you go back to the view menu, you can clean up by kind or by date modified or size for example. But this is just one time command, I can take again any icon and move it anywhere I want. Here comes the last option, which is sort by. Let's go to view menu once more and choose sort by. Instead of a simple name, I will try last open for example. And you can see how it changes. And not that it only changes, it will actually keep things sorted by that criteria. I can test it, I'll open this file and notice how it moved to the top right and pushed everything else down. The thing is that it is all organized, I can't take any icon and move it at all. 
I think this command is more useful in documents folder than on desktop, so I don't really recommend using it here. Anyway, if you can't really get rid of all the icons from the desktop, you can at least customize them to make them look better. Start by pressing on the desktop to get in the show view options. If you work with a lot of images, you can make the icon size bigger, which allows you to better see the preview of each image. There is also this interesting option here, show item info. When you check that, some items get more information. For example, images will display dimensions or videos show duration. On the other hand, if you work a lot with text, you don't need large icons. You can actually make it smaller. But make the text bigger to easier see what are the file names. Another interesting option is to change the label position. Instead of the bottom, move it to the right. This gives everything a very different look. Again, it's more useful with text files than images. Because this way you can nicely split the icons into columns. But this is all manually done. If you are looking for more automated method of reducing the number of icons, I think the next tip might be the right one for you. By the way, if you find this tutorial and tips useful, give the video a like. It helps reaching more people, the channel can grow and I can help all of you to be more productive on the Mac. But back to the desktop. The ultimate way to organize the desktop is to use stacks. So now go to view menu and tick on stacks. This feature will combine similar files into one icon. So for example all the images are combined here. Another stack will be PDF documents and so on. If I click on it, you can see how it expands. The stack of images is now the whole list. This way, you can put different kinds of files into columns and once you don't need them anymore, it's enough to click here on top and it will shrink that again. Next thing is, if I now add another image on the desktop, it will not add any extra icon, but automatically gets under the images. Just note that it only works for single files. Folders will still remain just folders, completely outside of stacks. Now, once I talk about folders, it might sound silly, but yes, using simple folders is a good way how to organize files on the desktop. So right click or control click the desktop and choose new folder. You can also use shift command n shortcut. Now I have two identical folders on the desktop. But where it comes interesting is how you can actually customize it. I have a whole video about changing the icons, but let's quickly do it here as well. So select the folder, press command I to open info and drop the new style here to change the icon. Now I have a folder for images. The other one can be documents, so let's name it like that. And at the end, I will do control command space which will open up emoji viewer and I can add emoji icon of a document here. It helps recognizing the folder faster by the first look. So it's not only about creating simple folders, but customizing them according to your preferences, which might also help reorganizing things better. Next technique I use is to create alias of the file I'm currently working on. Alias is basically just a link to the original file. So I can just grab any file and while dragging, hold option and command. Both modifier keys at once. And now drop the file to the desktop. You will notice this little arrow. It shows that this is just an alias. Advantage of using alias is that you can normally work on the file you have on the desktop. But once you finish, you can delete it. Clean up the desktop and all the changes will still be saved in the original file. The original file is not deleted, it is still here in the folder. In general, you should keep the desktop empty. It is working as a temporary storage of files, which you are currently working on. But you don't need to keep these temporary files on the desktop. Instead, I would create a folder and name it something like other or temporary. And now drag the folder to the right side of the dock. Here I have that folder, I can actually display it as a folder not to mistake it with my downloads. 
and now all the files I have on the desktop can go into this folder. It's a convenient way because these files will still be quickly accessible and my desktop will be clean. Well, these are my 10 best techniques I use to keep the desktop clean. And I'm very curious which technique you like the best. Or is there something you didn't know before? Tell me in the comments below and don't forget, new tips are coming next Monday as well. So subscribe to Apple Online Academy if you don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.